We rejoin our adventurer, failing to hit a single phantom with an arrow. And soon he runs out of arrows. Forced to make more, the adventurer could only make four arrows. Finally, he hit one. After missing the next two, lined up and hit the phantom again, this time dropping the membrane. Seeing the phantoms were not coming down, our adventurer went and received his prize. Unable to gain another, he headed back home. Once he arrived, it was potion brewing time. First making an awkward potion. Then turning into a slow falling. He grabbed a piece of redstone and made a slow falling of 4 minutes. Putting the potions away, next it was time to create the Ender Dragon battle gear. Boots will have to be made later. Running low on resources, it was time to go digging. Trying to get to the waterfall cave, a phantom struck him. After two hits, the adventurer was down to one heart. With the water like a warm blanket, the adventurer hid in the water until finding a ledge. Mining in a straight line, block after block. He was soon greeted by a cave. Not being able to say no to a bit of exploring, off he went. Staircasing down, he didn't mind the nice blue lapis. He decided it could wait. Lower and lower he went, soon near the bottom of the world. Not wanting to be burnt by the lava, he blocked it off. and start mining, trying to find any useful resources. With mining done, collecting the iron and the lapis on the way up of the staircase, while on the way up, the adventurer got lost but found the way eventually. Arriving at home as night fell, he took the chance to try and get more phantom membrane, this time with success. Continuing to try and enchant equipment for the dragon fight, he decided to upgrade the sugarcane farm into an auto harvest farm, as there was no need for a bigger farm yet. The biggest problem the adventurer had at the moment was ender pearls. So using lava from his farm, made obsidian and headed out. Reaching the ocean, he decided to cross the ocean in search of land. Along the way, the skeleton horse decided he liked the view of the ground better. Our adventurer had to leave the horse behind. Skipping across the water, soon he came to a village. Not wanting to go any further, he made the portal just outside the village and went through. The adventurer was looking for a warped forest, because the endermen were fond of the greenish blue lands within that biome. But unfortunately, everywhere he looked, he could not find a sign of the forest. Knowing looking on the surface was best, he ventured out and soon face to face with skeletons and ghasts.
he started to regret the decision. Then really regretted the decision. He decided to look elsewhere. Whilst looking elsewhere, he found a fortress. Being a person who sticks to a plan and doesn't get distracted would have meant the adventurer did not go investigate the fortress. Having a quick look and after Blazers asking him to leave, it was back to the task at hand. Mining and building a tunnel, with no hope of finding a forest, when suddenly he fell down. With only half a heart remaining, the adventurer was wide awake and decided to head home. Not scared at all, he bravely ran all the way home. The next night, he did not want to travel to the nether after what happened last time. So he tried to find endermen and obtain arrows from skeletons in the overworld. After two nights not seeing one enderman, it was time to travel. But unfortunately, it was to build a portal in the hope to find a warped forest. Arriving in a crimson forest, looked around. Even with his eyes put to max distance, there was no sign of a warped forest. So back home it was. Having asked the oracle, he now had a direction to head in hope of finding a warped forest. So, not wanting to, but knowing he has a goal to reach, he headed in that direction. Hopping to it, the adventurer moved through the valley into a crimson forest, mined his way down and up the other side. Then from behind attacked wild hogs, taking the first out. The second had taken half the heart. When the third fell, all that was left was half a heart and pieces of bacon. Stunned and wounded, the adventurer knew he must go on and find the warped forest. Another crimson forest, a face full of lava, and then there stood just what he had been searching for, a warped forest. So, without a second thought, it was time to collect ender pearls, gathering 14 ender pearls in total. Now heading home, it was the final stretch of preparations. Mining resources and gathering experience from mobs for his battle gear, but being in need of more experience, he was forced to go to the nether using all his courage he went through the fortress obtaining experience orbs it was required to borrow more ender pearls from the endermen After gaining some more ender pearls, headed home once more. Spending the next two days in preparation for the ender dragon fight, it was time to find the stronghold. With the standard way of finding one, which consisted of throwing an eye of ender and chasing, then repeating this until you found that the eyes changed direction. Finding a village, the adventurer had high hopes. Just then he saw a pillager guard post on the edge of the village. That will have to wait. Into the stronghold he went, looking everywhere he could, finding nothing but his old footsteps. 
He started blocking any way that was not new. And then there it was, the end portal, with zero eyes in it. Having 12 ender eyes, he placed them in. After placing all 12 eyes, there was still one missing. Feeling unlucky, he knew he had to return. So he decided it's home to get dressed and then it's time to go fight the ender dragon. Giving one more try to getting an infinity enchantment, failing again. That aside, he got all of his equipment together. Geared up in his nice shiny pink. He skipped across the water and was now back at the stronghold. He checked his equipment one last time, knowing once he goes through, there is no coming back until the fight is over. And will the end be the end? Will the dragon eat him? Will he get lost? Jump back next time to find out what happened.